morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Just Hilarious. Y'all the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, we're talking about Jacquees and his fiance. Uh, what's her name again? DeAndrea Sanders. DeAndrea Sanders. Mm-hmm. All right. And they were talking about taking the child's last name, and this is what uh, Jacquees and her discussion was like. So we're asking 800-585-1051. What are your thoughts about picking your child's last name when you're not married? Let's start with you. Mm-hmm. You're about to have a baby. It uh, seems like tomorrow. Yes, it mm-hmm. seems like tomorrow. Yeah, I I feel her and I feel him too. This is his first child. Mm-hmm. And of course, he wants a junior. Every every guy, well, almost every guy, hopes for the boy, their first boy to be a junior. Jerome wanted Ash to be a junior, but no, mm-hmm. it just wasn't happening. Um, but, you know... I understand her part too, mm-hmm. cause she wants to be married, and then also, I know we always talk about the man. Like, okay, we want they want the legacy to live on. They want their name to live on. What about ours? So mm-hmm. I think a great compromise would be give the baby both of y'all last names. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna say Broadnex. I'm not really too hype about, but that's his last name, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> so Broadnex Sanders. I I just really think that if they can't come to it, and he know he not gonna marry her, go ahead and and just. Had both last names, so the baby can carry on both of y'all legacies. Yeah, th- things have changed a lot. I, I mm-hmm. me and my wife never had that conversation. It was we had yeah. kids. It's it's my last name. Uh, it didn't make me really think about it until my daughter talking to my daughter. My daughter was like, "No, I like my last name. I mm. want my last name in whatever it is to be yeah. hyphen." Um, and I'm like, "Fine," but I never thought about it. I I don't think back then I don't think I was open minded enough to do that. Yeah, it was just not nah, take my last name because that was quote unquote tradition. Yeah. Uh, now I think things have changed, but uh, but now Charlemagne also said, you know, yeah, you know, you don't get the clues. But what happened if he's not ready to get married? Yeah, and you don't want to force him to get married right. because of this kid and, and make it because of a reason. If he's not ready, you got to give him time, just like you would have to give her time to be ready. He might not be ready to be married at and this that's, time. That's what I said as well. I, you know, that's what I said. That's why I said it's both. It's good to have both of the last names. Charlemagne. Yeah, whatever folks want is their prerogative, you know. But the fact she said. Uh, no, because she's not married. Let me know she wants to be married. So Jaquise, you know, you want the Jacquees, son to have. Sir. What's his name? Jaquise. Jaquise. His name is Rodriguez Jaquise Broadnex. Rodriguez <laughs> Jaquise Malcolm X. If you want the son to have your name, <laughs> go on down to the jeweler and get that ring and do what you need to do because having a child is great. Having a family is better. But what happened if he's not ready for that? Yeah. Well, she might not be ready to have a baby. But guess what? He ain't thinking nothing. He ain't thinking of that when he was sweating on top of her, right? Mm-hmm. Giving that fire wood. That's right. That fire exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, so yo, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. I think the baby. If 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 the man is a good man, I think the baby should have the father's I, last And name. I think if she want to get married, she should be able to want to get married. And I think that he should take his ass down to the jeweler and get that ring and do what he need to do. Kelsey. Hello. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now, Kelsey. Good morning. What's your thoughts, Mama? Good morning. Hey, girl. Hey, Kelsey. Y'all. Sorry, I'm trying to get my phone off Bluetooth. Okay. All right. What's your thoughts, Mama? Um, I feel like it depends on the character of the man. I am kind of newly out of a 10-year relationship, and we had a son almost three years ago. Um, and I had reservations about naming him the third, but I eventually went with it because he's a great dad. Like, he's a better da- dad than he is anything, and he's a great person. But um, I feel like overall, like, he, his character of a father is never going to change how he raises my child and the example he's going to set. So I don't have any regrets, but I also feel like you have to know who you're having your child with, and maybe she just does not feel like he's all that he should be as a man, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, just because me and my, my baby daddy didn't work out doesn't mean that he won't ever be a great father to my child and, a I great provider for the both of us. That's very so. true. I agree. Thank you, Mama. We have Shanika on the line. Shanika. Yes! What? Ray she is! Hello? <laughs> Shanika. Hello? Yes. Do you spell your name S H A N E K K A? Yes. Okay. Shanika, okay. <laughs> do you have trouble getting a A P A R T M E N T? Oh my God. Stop. <laughs> How you feel about this whole topic, Shanika? <laughs> Um, I feel like um, she's right. It's, if I would have known what I know now, it's much easier just to have your child name be yours if y'all are not married. But mm. that's still a dad's child, though, right? If he's a good, yeah, if he's a good know, father. It's still a dad's child, child, and he's a good father. When a mom is with that child all the time and have to do doctor's appointments, schools, registration, it is so much easier if that child has your last name. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's I'm, just the way I think. 
I'm with, I'm with you, man. I, Thank I, like, you, Shanika, with two Ks. All right. <laughs> like if you want like like I said having a baby is great having a family is better you know clearly yeah. she wants to get married she said it to him she said hey mm-hmm. you know he, we not married that right there the light bulb will go off in my head like oh yeah. shoot let me go on down here and yeah, get this ring but but you can't force anybody to get married you don't know if that if they are ready for a relationship mm-hmm. you know he, you don't know if he's ready for a relationship he might not well, be ready might to be have things kids. he has to work through to get to that she point she might not have been ready to have kids or yeah, that that too. Or the fact that he wanted to get married, he may not want to get married. Who says he wants to get married? Not even that he ain't ready. Maybe he don't want to. That's true too. So you know, I I just really feel like ain't nothing wrong with broad neck standards. Like I honestly feel like if I know what I've known today, Ash would have been a more James. I agree with you that. You know too. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like not just James. Right. You know, I I don't regret anything I did, but I would have you know taking the time to be like, dang, I want both of our names to live, you know, because I, I knew I wasn't going to marry Rome. Rome knew he wasn't going to marry me. We were just, we thought we was in love at the time, mm-hmm. you know, but more know James would have been better. He don't even talk to you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I want that too, though, because I mean, I, I got all, all daughters, so I want, yeah. you know, I want my name to still be with, if they choose to get married. I want the hyphen it too. Absolutely. But you got brothers though as well, so your name will live on, right? What the hell, my brothers got to do with me and my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about last name. I thought he wanted his last name to live on. No, not through his brothers. Boy, his I, kids. I, I be feeling so sorry for Hampton whenever you say you want oh, to Hampton. No, because you said because <laughs> like, you, usually you want your, your last name to live on because you don't want your last name to stop. But you what got siblings. This? Like I'm an only child. So man, if, what is you talking about? I want my name to live on with my kids, man. Yeah, yeah because his brother's <laughs> gotta die. It's the kids. Oh, no, no. I thought you wanted to, to hold your last just, name. Like, you, you want your last name to live on. His seat, with yeah, my to live kids. on with okay. his kids uh, so yes. they can keep on producing McKelvey's. Most people McKelvey want to keep the McKelvey. name because they want the last name to live on regardless, but all right, whatever. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. None, Red, of, you know what I'm talking about? None of us know what you're talking Red about. Red understands what I'm talking no, about. No, you don't. Do you understand what I'm talking Red about? Red just Sid? don't be wanting to argue. Sid wouldn't know what I'm talking about. And I respect Red for that. Red just be like, yeah, Envy, go ahead. Go. Put, your, put your helmet back on, Envy. <laughs> <laughs> Walk him to the bus. Don't say nothing. Walk him to the bus, y'all. Just go ahead. Damn. <laughs> shout to all, shout, you know what? Shout to all the people that wear helmets that listen. Oh, my God. 800-585-1051. If you're just joining us, we're asking, what are your thoughts about picking your child's last name when you're not married? Let's discuss this at The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, we're talking about Jacquees and his fiancée, DeSandra. Did I say right? <laughs> no. DeAndrea. DeAndrea. I know it's Dion. DeAndrea. There you go. Yandria Sanders, uh, and they were talking about their child's last name. This is what they said. So we're taking your calls, 800-585-1051. What are your thoughts? We got Megan on the line. Megan, good morning. Good morning, y'all. I cannot believe we got through. How are y'all? How are you feeling this morning? Peace, Megan. Good. I love y'all. Everyone, listen to you. Jess, congratulations. Love you. Love you more. Thanks, babe. Anyway. On to the topic. Yes, ma'am. I actually did the same thing. I have two children with my children's father. The first one, he actually named the first one. She has his last name. But the second one, we were really, really rocky. I don't know how that goes. Um, and it's a boy. It's his firstborn son. And I did not get him the last name because we're not married. And I agree. Mm. You know, especially if you're not treating the mother right, um, these are just the consequences. Of well, I guess first we were both in the room, but not taking the time for you. I don't, but, think we, I don't think we can use that one, guys. Sorry, mama. Man, she was so happy to get there. I know, Lana. Good morning. Good morning. How you feeling, Lana? I'm good. I'm ready for work. What's your thoughts? I am a mother. I have a nine year old by her father, so I see where he's coming from. Because what? happens if something happens to him, he would like his name to pass down. Mm. Which every father wants. But then I can also see her point because she wants to get married, but what if they're not really in love like that? Right. Mm-hmm. Just because you have a baby with somebody don't need don't mean you need to marry them. Correct. Exactly, because I've been with my daughter's father for twelve years and we have a nine year old and he had recently passed away two years ago. So she's carrying his last name. Right. Okay. Well thank you, Lana. Mm. Hello, who's this? 
Hey, it's Victoria. Hey, Victoria. Good morning. What's your thoughts? Good morning. Good morning. Um, my thoughts is, <clears throat> I I feel like I don't disagree with him, but she should have the right because, like she said, they're not married, and technically, back in the day, that's why your kid is named after the last the name last name after the dad is because the whole family has the dad's last name because they married. So I feel like, and it's a real negative stigma about taking the mom's last name. You know, they'd be like, oh, your mother was a hoe. Oh, she didn't know who to. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn, I never heard that one. <laughs> I never heard that. I never heard that, <laughs> never heard that stigma. <laughs> who said that? People get teased for that. When I was coming, when I was going to school, people would get teased for having a mother's last name. Oh like, oh, God. she didn't know who your mom was. Yeah, she didn't know who the dad was. Yeah, I, I well, would depend who the mama <laughs> is, though. It, right? Because the hood know if your mama was a whole or not. Right. Jesus. <laughs> no, but I feel, I, I feel her. I get what he's he coming from, but I feel like she shouldn't get so much flack. Because I've seen the guys commenting. They was mad. But, I mean, if it's important, you marry her. Give the whole family your last name. And then it won't be no question. I concur. Hey, hey too. She said he's going to have my last name, too. So maybe she's going to hyphenate it. I yeah. like the hyphen too. Like that's what Jess said, and I I agree with that as well. Cause I got all daughters, so I want I want to be hyphenated too. Definitely. Yeah. So I just feel like to be easy on her, you know. But oh, oh Charlamagne, I just opened your book this morning. Thank you very much. I'm so excited to read it. You're you're very very welcome. But if you want to send me a signed copy, I would love that as well. But I'm I'm getting it either way. Let's do that. Where you at anyway? Where you live at? I'm from, I'm, I'm living in the Poconos right now. I'm from Harlem now. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, send her a copy, Eddie. I'll sign it for you. How is the Poconos? Did they ever build that train that they were supposed to build that, that gets people from the Poconos to New York City real fast? Hell no. Damn. Hell no, they didn't. <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, thank you, Mama. They've been talking about it for years, yeah. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. You Congratulations, too. Jess. And oh, thank have you, a babe. Day, I'm going to put you on hold. Hold on, okay? I had an aunt used to live in the Poconos. All right. Well, that was the whole thing with the Poconos. For people that don't know, Poconos was about a 45-minute trip from New York or an hour trip from New York. But the houses were very, very cheap. Mm. And you could get acres. But the whole, they used to sell people like, yo, we're going to build this train system, like this billet train that's supposed to get you from the Poconos to New York real fast. Mm. And that was like 20 years ago. They still ain't built that train yet. No. That's the first time I ever saw a bear was in the Poconos. I was at my, my Aunt Dot's house. Salute to Aunt Dot. I was, I was at her house in the Poconos. Where is that at? Where is the Poconos Pennsylvania, at? Right? Pennsylvania, right? Pennsylvania. Yeah. Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, gotcha. That's the first time you've seen a bear. You ate bear before. And that's the first time you've seen a bear in the Poconos? Y'all thought y'all eat bear in South Carolina. He didn't catch it and kill it and you know eat it. how long ago that he was? He just probably <laughs> just ordered, ordered it. it. Oh, you never seen bear? All, oh, first of all, we ain't never catch no bear in South Carolina and kill it. I had bear shoulder in West Virginia. And when I saw that bear playing in the river in the Poconos, that was years ago. Eons. Well, you go And don't talk. He, this man eat squirrels. This man eat gator bites. He eat deer. Mm, that's that Monk's Corner. Yeah, Monk's Corner. You eat ass. So? Oh, my God. Come on. You don't eat ass? Oh, oh, uh, oh, you have a wife. I'm like, first of all, <laughs> no. You just no, never no, know. No, 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 no. Those yeah, deeply exactly. seated homo those deeply seated homosexual tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? All right, what's the more of this story? I don't know. Hyphenate if you if you know you're not gonna be married. There's nothing wrong with hyphenations. And there's nothing wrong with your baby having two names to carry on two legacies Word. for the mom and the dad. I like that. All yeah. right. Well, we got the mess coming up. Jess with the mess. What oh are we God. talking about, Jess? Yo, <laughs> the royal family. Yeah, back. So, okay. Jess with the worldwide mess. We got more UK news. All right, we'll get to that next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.